financial technology, or fintech, has revolutionized how we manage our money. From budgeting apps to online banking, fintech has made financial management more accessible and convenient than ever before. Apps and online platforms offer seamless transactions, quick loans, and investment opportunities, often with lower fees than traditional banks. These innovations have democratized access to financial services, allowing more people to participate in the financial system. But the recent collapse of Synapse Financial Technologies, a prominent fintech company, serves as a stark reminder that this convenience can come with risks. The sudden downfall of such a major player in the industry has sent shockwaves through the fintech community. Synapse's downfall left many customers in a lurch, highlighting the importance of understanding the complexities of fintech and the potential vulnerabilities of entrusting them with our hard-earned money. Customers found themselves scrambling to secure their funds and seeking alternatives. This isn't just about one company's failure. It's a wake-up call for all of us navigating the world of digital finance. The incident underscores the need for vigilance and due diligence when choosing fintech services. The question now is, how can we enjoy the benefits of fintech while safeguarding our financial well-being? It's crucial to stay informed about the security measures and financial health of the platforms we use. This essay will delve into the workings of fintech, the risks involved, and the crucial steps you can take to protect your money. We'll explore best practices for using fintech safely and how to identify red flags. This is a call to become informed, empowered users of financial technology. By educating ourselves, we can make smarter choices and leverage fintech to our advantage while minimizing risks. Fintech companies like Synapse operate in a fascinating space between technology and traditional finance. They leverage technology to offer innovative financial products and services. Think mobile banking apps, peer-to-peer -peer payment platforms, and online investment platforms. While some fintechs operate independently, many partner with traditional banks. These partnerships are often invisible to the user, but are crucial to the functioning of many fintech services. For instance, a fintech app offering mobile banking might not actually hold your money. Instead, they might partner with a traditional bank that holds your funds and handles the regulatory aspects of banking. This interconnectedness between fintech and traditional finance can make it difficult to understand where your money is held and how it's protected. How do fintech companies keep your money safe? Synapse's bankruptcy exposed several vulnerabilities within the fintech industry, shaking the confidence of investors and stakeholders alike. One major issue was poor management and a lack of transparency, which created an environment ripe for mismanagement and financial missteps. Reports suggest that Synapse was plagued by internal conflicts and questionable financial practices, further eroding trust within the company. This lack of sound management ultimately contributed to its downfall, leaving employees and clients in a state of uncertainty. Another issue was technological vulnerability, which is a critical concern for any fintech company. Fintech companies rely heavily on technology, and any weaknesses in their systems can be exploited by hackers or lead to technical failures causing significant disruptions. Synapse reportedly suffered from inadequate cybersecurity measures, which left it vulnerable to cyber attacks and data breaches, leaving customer data potentially vulnerable and raising concerns about the safety of personal information. This case highlights the importance of understanding the risks inherent in any financial system, especially those heavily reliant on technology and potentially susceptible to human error or malice. What can go wrong with fintech companies? The answer is multifaceted. Poor management and tech problems can lead to loss of funds, eroded trust, and ultimately, the collapse of the company.
While the Synapse case might seem alarming, it's crucial to remember that not all fintech companies are created equal. Each company operates differently, and it's important to understand these differences. There are steps you can take to choose a safe and reliable fintech partner. By following these steps, you can ensure that your financial transactions are secure. First and foremost, look for FDIC insurance. This is a key indicator of a company's reliability. This insurance, backed by the US government, protects your deposits up to $250,000 per depositor, per insured bank, in case the bank fails. It's a safety net for your hard-earned money. Many fintech companies partner with FDIC-insured banks to offer this protection to their customers. This partnership is a sign of trust and security. Before entrusting your money to a fintech company, research its background and reputation. This step is crucial in making an informed decision. Look for companies with a proven track record of security and responsible financial practices. A strong history can be a good indicator of future performance. Read reviews, check their ratings with the Better Business Bureau, and look for any red flags in their history. Customer feedback can provide valuable insights. How can you protect your money in a fintech? It's a question worth asking. Look for FDIC insurance and research company stability. These steps can help you make a wise choice. Section five, due diligence, essential checks before you leap. Choosing a FinTech company requires more than just downloading an app or clicking on an ad. It requires due diligence which means thoroughly researching and understanding the company and its practices. Start by visiting the company's website and carefully reviewing its About Us section, terms and conditions, and privacy policy. Look for transparency in how they operate, manage your data, and handle your money. Don't hesitate to contact their customer support with any questions you may have. A reputable company will have a responsive and helpful customer support team that can address your concerns and provide clear explanations. Remember, you're trusting them with your financial well-being, so choose wisely. Section 6 Beyond FDIC Insurance Additional Safety Measures while FDIC insurance offers a significant layer of protection, it's not a foolproof guarantee. To further safeguard your money, diversify your financial portfolio. Instead of keeping all your money in one fintech company, consider spreading it across multiple platforms or traditional banks. This way, if one institution experiences issues, your entire financial well-being won't be compromised. Regularly monitor your accounts for any suspicious activity. Most fintech apps offer real-time transaction notifications. Be vigilant about checking these notifications and report any unauthorized transactions immediately. Section 7. The Evolving Regulatory Landscape The rapid growth of fintech has outpaced the development of specific regulations. However, regulators are taking notice and working to establish a framework that protects consumers while fostering innovation. The Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, for example, is increasing its scrutiny of fintech companies, particularly regarding data privacy and lending practices. New regulations are likely to emerge, aiming to address the unique challenges posed by fintech while ensuring a level playing field. These regulatory efforts are crucial for building trust and stability in the fintech industry. It's important to stay informed about these developments and understand how they impact your rights and protections as a consumer. Section 8. The Future of Fintech Striking a Balance Despite the challenges, Fintech holds immense promise for the future of finance. It has the potential to increase financial inclusion, reduce costs, and make financial services more accessible to underserved communities. The key is to strike a balance between innovation and consumer protection. This requires collaboration between fintech companies, regulators, and consumers. Section 9. Conclusion. Your money, your responsibility. 
the fintech revolution is here to stay, offering exciting opportunities and undeniable conveniences. However, as with any financial decision, caution is key. Don't be swayed solely by flashy marketing or promises of high returns. Take the time to understand the risks involved, choose your fintech partners wisely, and actively participate in safeguarding your financial well-being. What are your experiences with fintech? Share your thoughts and questions in the comments below and let's continue this important conversation. Don't forget to take our short survey about your fintech experiences and share this video with your friends and family. Your financial well-being depends on it.